just to play dumb here a little bit for a second, I think I know the answer to this, Secretary Benson, but uh, tell me, tell me true. Is, is this the sort of thing that has happened before in the state of Michigan? Is this something that you have ever seen in your role as the chief administrator of, of elections in the state? Is this, is this something that just looks weird to us from a national perspective, but actually people try this kind of thing all the time? No, uh, and you know for good reason. Uh, I mean, this is you know we up until uh, really 2020 had seen a great deal of respect and deference to our voters, which was really upended uh, in the chaos and confusion that uh, you know, we saw surrounding the 2020 uh, post-election process. So this is unprecedented. We're in uncharted territory. You know, I know both of us have been asked a lot as this has come out. Uh, what was legal, what was illegal. And I think it's important to emphasize here that this is all unprecedented. Uh, but mm -hmm. it also underscores why it's so important for us to not just uh, ensure truth continues to emerge as to just how far uh, folks were willing to go to overturn a free and fair election just because they didn't like the results, uh, because we not only need to see justice and accountability in this manner for those who broke the law, but we need to work to put protections in place to ensure we do not see a repeat of these nefarious tactics in future elections.